Hello and welcome to Tech Dive Gaming. Today we're going to go from 7,500 people to like, I don't know, 10,000 at least? We'll see. Um, what I like to do is actually start buying up some tiles. Now this is where your budget can go from perfectly fine to out of control and your city crashes and burns very fast. So, um, realize 100,000 seems like a lot at this point. You're like, man, that's a frick ton of money. I can build all kinds of crap. No, you can't. Um, priorities right now are going to buy some more space. So I think these three tiles right here are probably the most valuable to us. Um, I'm not sure how many we can currently buy, but I think that this is probably our best bet considering it has more highway, it has a rail, uh, it has a lot more room for us. And we have a lot of stuff built up on the border. So it just makes the most sense. It's only 5,000 for this first city. Um, it helps a lot. We can also buy down here to get this railroad connection as well. Um, or up here to have this second highway connection not as valuable or as good. I think we'll just stick with our current purchase. That's good enough, right? So we still have 107,000 in the bank and I think this is a great time to build out a new ramp. Um, I think a big connecting road right here, like a full size avenue with on and off ramps. Maybe a small little like high density area right here would be pretty smart. Um, maybe use this as the thoroughfare that goes across the highway. Um, I think that'll be a good a good first move. So um, six lanes is pretty much my go-to. You can do the four lanes, but since it's literally the same size as six lanes and doesn't cost that much like less than six lanes, you might as well just do six lane roads. So I think right here would be a good start. Go page up and we're gonna do a nice, very uh, regular crossing, right? And page back down. And then we're not really going to build out too much further right now. So I think maybe have it go towards the river is a good start. We can always move it later. <laughs> Nothing is permanent in this game. You can literally change everything if you wanted to. All right. So now I want to do like a perfect 90 degree angle with this road and this road right here. So I'm going to come out just like that. And then I'm going to take the curve tool, come out and then do my first click on this dotted line that comes out from the end of this road. That will ensure the turn is properly proportioned. And then um, if I do click it right here, it actually is a little bit of an overturn. Um, and I don't think I have enough room. Well, if I, that's fine, it's fine. It's not even really noticeable once there's buildings and crap. Yeah, it's not a, not a problem. So that one's done. Let's go ahead and go knock out this side. We'll just do two uh, units that way. I'm actually going to try and come from this side as well. All right. So if I line it up just like this, you can see how there's kind of like a, like a parallel zoning on each side. That's probably the best way to get the most smooth turns out of this tool. And I think it looks pretty good. So now we can put some commercial in. Um, I'm not going to put high density just yet. Uh, this side of town is just not ready for any kind of high density and there's not much point in it. Um, and then we can put some residential in over here or, ooh, this would be a good spot for a office complex. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. Office complex, I almost always do a really basic, just kind of like a gridded kind of area. I mean, you can always make it fancy if you want, but since they're so, I guess, basic or uh, they don't really need many parks or anything really interesting, you know, I just kind of keep their their zones pretty simple. All right, so come over here, get my office zoning, drop down a big old office blob, and we are looking pretty good. I think the rest of this residential. Um, now we can just pipe up water, and we should be in pretty good shape. It's our first expansion into a new tile in this whole city. There we go. Uh, I did four. 40, uh, yeah, good enough. Now we have all kinds of new potential. Actually, we also need to hook this stupid thing up to the highway. Not perfect, it will definitely change later on because this is gonna, if I build up the city very high density in this area, it's gonna definitely change into a more high volume kind of intersection, but it's fine for now. And it is tempting to put in another junction here because it's pretty much the perfect space to fit one. However, um, especially with the prospect of this becoming a very large junction later on, probably with the 
like a color relief or something and then this one getting built onto a lot i would not really recommend building one here in the middle just because there just wouldn't be room and the traffic merging between on and off ramps would really get crappy really fast all right so if you build a geothermal plant this is with the green cities expansion um it's very expensive but man it's pretty dang efficient i'm just going to build another coal power plant and toss it in right here we have no police presence over here um we can go ahead and build a little police station not too expensive 12 grand a drop in the bucket for our budget right now our weekly budget still going great um, fire coverage there is no fire coverage over here so we can build that out as well just like so man I might have a high wealth neighborhood in here pretty quick school coverage not too bad um, high school coverage non-existent over here we can go ahead and build a one high school I find a good spot for it. Hmm. Yeah, right there's a good spot. Boom. Look at the happy people. There's so many happy people. Hey, look at that. Small city, 9,500. Wow. So now we have cable cars, monorails. Ooh. Giant multi platform train stations. <coughs> Metros. Hydro power plants, amazing power plant. Literally the best power plant in the game. Um, if you have a map that's compatible with hydroelectric dams, uh, you can power your whole city with one power plant, cheaper than you could literally anything else in the game. So, yeah. Um, what else do we want? I think we're good for now. Demand is starting to actually climb because I think all of our zones are full up. Oh actually out of water interesting so let's build another pump let's put that in here we'll put another sewage outlet right there and life continues on as soon as we get the uh, clean see this water treatment plant not perfect it actually still makes quite a bit of polluted water um, if you have green cities the eco water treatment plant is the ultimate um, however it's very expensive and takes 32,000 people to get it so um, right here is a great development potential spot we think about putting another neighborhood in we have a lot of uh, demand for residential right now and this might be a good spot to put a high density neighborhood in just because we can keep it <coughs> low income and it'd be great for the workers in the factories so I think that's what we're gonna do so I'm thinking we'll pull it out a little bit from the highway but run parallel with it, just like that. Doesn't matter, you can build it however the heck you want. Grids just make a lot of sense. So there we go. Um, right there is probably as close as I'll let it go. We don't want sickness to start like destroying our high density poor people, so yeah. There we go, population explosion. Hopefully we'll get to about 12,000 before all is said and done. Traffic is building up very heavily on this thing. That's fine. There are many, many ways we can upgrade our junction here. Just a matter of time. Um, I think we can go ahead and buy out another tile. I'm going to buy this one. And buy this one up here. I think that's a good... Bases are covered. We now have access to multiple highways, multiple railroads. All right, so now we're going to do a train station. We don't really need a train station right now. Ooh. We're out of power. Interesting. Um, let's fix this power thing, then we'll work on the train station. Um, solar updraft tower. Makes a lot of power. 240. Wow. You know what? We'll go ahead and build it. It looks cool. Yeah, there we go. Bam. Look at that thing. At the big power. So, train stations. Um, Things you need to know about building train stations include building roads to the train station. Um, and that's that's probably the, the main thing is building roads to the train station. Um, you gotta think, uh, you want it to be one continuous loop where traffic never stops for at least a, a good distance and you don't want any interruptions. So I'm gonna try and have it to where the traffic comes down this way, 
goes to the train station, then comes back out on this side, and that should be a very cyclical thing where it won't interfere with itself. Because traffic can get very crazy with train stations very fast. All right, so we're gonna build out like this. We're going to build a little turn. Build that out, and then I think we'll actually just run it. Oh, come on. I'll build it from this side, like that. So now we have our loop road, as I call it. <coughs> and this is a great path, because this will suck in all the, the traffic and crap from the industry and pump it right back out over here, where it can go into town or go back into the industry, however, that, however you want to work that out. Um, so. Let's go to our transport, go to our train station, click cargo train terminal, very expensive, 1440 a week. Train costs and mass transit gets very expensive very fast. It's the reason why cities of this size, like 10 to 40,000 will fail, is because they start building train terminals and the subways and highways and airports and all this stuff, and it gets so expensive so quick. So like, um, in all honesty, it's almost never worth it to build a train station unless you just like trains. So, yeah. All right, let's take our train station, looks beautiful, here's our track. How you want to join to the track is you wanna make it to where the connecting branches of the track are long enough to fit a whole train before they connect together. <coughs> so what I like to do is I'll take our rail here, run it parallel for a bit, Join it like that. Um, we're in a straight. And we'll do the same thing on this side, actually. Like this. We're in a parallel. That is probably the best way you can build such a train junction because if things get stopped up, you don't want one train blocking the way for the other train because then you're screwed. So keep that in mind. Um, other than that, trains are pretty, they're pretty easy. Um, you can also do a whole one-way thing with the trains itself. However, I don't really see that as beneficial. There we go, that's pretty good. Um, you could have it be end like this and be a terminal. However, I feel like it flows a lot better if you have it uh, loop back around like this. Not the, not the prettiest, you can always make it like follow 90 degree angles or 45 degree angles or whatever, but trains never really do that anyways, so. All right, and I think that's it for tonight. We had done quite a bit, um, I'm just gonna pause this. Uh, we've gone up to 11,000, 7,500 to 11,000 in 20 minutes. That's a pretty dang good clip. We have a new uh, commercial uh, office area over here, a new junction on the highway. We built out a train station, solar plant, um, traffic is doing very well. We're getting a little bit of heavy traffic right here, but that's fine. Uh, new medium density residential area, our first one in the city. Great stuff. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see y'all next time.